Um, so we're always going to identify our patient um, by agency protocol. Um, we are also going to follow state and federal regulations. Um, we are going to um, abide by standard procedures or standard precautions, um, make sure that we're wearing gloves, hand hygiene. Uh, we are going to ensure patient safety and privacy as well as promote good body mechanics. Okay, um, so for uh, performing um, upper airway suctioning, um, we are going to, for the oropharyngeal um, suctioning, we are going to have our um, patient in semi fowler's position. Um, their head is going to be, or high fowler's, um, their head is going to be um, towards the nurse, so towards me. Um, and then for the nasopharyngeal, um, the patient is going to be in the same position as the high fowler's. High fowler's. Um, and they are going to have the neck uh, hyperextended. They're going to be placing um, uh, either a pad or um, a uh, linen saver um, on top of the patient's chest. Uh, we are also going to be um, turning off our suctioning machine um, and adjusting it. Um, so the usual adjustment is between um, for adults. It is. Um, 100 to 150 uh, for children, 100 to 121, or 120, and for infants, um, 50 to 95. So we are also going to um, test for suctioning um, the tube that actually connects to this. Uh, we're going to occlude it um, and just test that way um, for suctioning. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to gather our supplies. Um, so we are going to get our suction catheter. Um, kit. Uh, we are going to be um, donning um, sterile gloves. So we're going to be opening. Hang up our sterile gloves. Make sure that the cuffs are facing towards me. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are going to be um, pinching the um, inside of the glove and stepping back and away from our sterile peel, keeping our hands above our waist. And then with our next one, we get under the catheter, the cuff, just step away from our sterile field. So our non-dominant hand um, is going to be considered the contaminated, um, and then our dominant hand um, is going to be considered the clean um, glove. So our next step is to um, for our saline solution, so we're already going to have our lid loosened up. Um, we're going to be using our non-dominant hand to pour the solution, um, and we're going to be using our dominant to um, pick up the tubing. We're going to reach around our sterile field and bring it around, label in the palm, and we're going to pour our solution into our container and bring it back around. With our dominant hand um, being clean, uh, we are going to um, insert the tubing um, of the catheter um, to the uh, section. Um, and we're going to be doing so. Um, so we're going to be using this hand and we're going to insert it. It's still our clean hand. We will make sure that we're still using our right hand for the um, end part of it. Um, we are going to be lubricating um, for the oral pharyngeal. We're going to be lubricating with um, normal saline solution, um, um, and by doing so, uh, we are going to be pressing our uh, thumb over the suction. Um, part of the tubing 
Um, we are going to dip the end of our um, tubing into the saline solution um, and suctioning a small amount in to the tubing. Then we're going to approximate the depth. Um, so for oral uh, pharyngeal, um, it's going to be um, from the tip of the mouth um, to the um, earlobe. Uh, for the nasal pharyngeal, it's going to be um, from the tip of the nose um, to the earlobe. Um, if the patient does have um, an oxygen or um, is using oxygen, um, we are going to be removing the device uh, with our non-dominant hand. Uh, we are also going to be assessing the SpO2 level. Um, if it drops uh, below 94% or there is some kind of um, distress, uh, symptoms of distress, um, then we are going to um, give them supplemental oxygen um, before um, suctioning, during our suctioning, and in between our suction um, um, times. Um, and then after um, the procedure is done. For the oropharyngeal, uh, we are going to be um, inserting the tubing um, with um, our, of course, on it, yeah. Uh, we're gonna be placing it at the uh, patient's side of the mouth. We are going to be slipping it in into the, um, or until we get to the oropharyngeal. And we're going to make sure that we're not forcing it. Uh, we're going to be going to the depth of the pre-measured um, measurement that we have. So this would probably be between um, three and four inches. For the nasopharyngeal, pharyn uh, we're going to be lubricating with a water-soluble lubricant. Um, and we are going to be um, sticking it in the nares. Um, to the predetermined measurement that we had previously. So that would be between five to six inches. Uh, we're going to go. If we meet any kind of resistance, we would also try the other mirrors. During the procedure of um, suctioning, um, we are going to be um, holding um, another non dominant hand. Down. We're going to be occluding the, um, the suctioning uh, part of the tubing. Um, as we withdraw the catheter, we're going to be doing it in continuous um, uh, rotation movements. We're going to be limiting suctioning time. Each time we suction, it's going to be between 10 to 15 seconds. Um, we're not going to do it more than five minutes. Um, uh, every time we do our, between our 10 and 15 minute intervals, we're going to be making sure that we are um, suctioning back up uh, the normal saline solution for lubrication. So when we are done suctioning, we are going to um, coil our, um, our uh, catheter kit tubing, um, suctioning tubing. Uh, we are going to be removing um, and actually folding our glove over the top of it. Um, and then we are also going to be taking our non-dominant hand and coming over to the um, uh, solution um, and making sure that we are we are cleaning um, the tubing out at least clearing it make sure that we um, dispose of all of our materials um, properly um, we are going to make sure that we're assessing the canister here making sure that we don't need a new one um, we are going to make sure also that we have all the needed supplies for our next um, suctioning um, we are also going to make sure uh, our patient is in a comfortable position. Um, we're going to be uh, providing the mouth care, um, assessing their SpO2 level, the color, the consistency, and the amount of secretions.